So when you start your Windows 11 virtual machine, you will see this kind of error, which will say timeout EFI network. So this is the known error and on VMware workstation player, we can solve this uh, issue. Let me show you how we can solve this issue on VMware workstation player. So what I need to do is I need to first of all close this uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to click on this cross uh, icon here and then click on power off, which is going to power off my virtual machine. Then just go to the location where you have saved your virtual machine files. You can also find out the location by just starting your virtual machine and then selecting your virtual machine and then click on edit virtual machine settings here. And then you need to go to this uh, hard disk section and here you will see your disk files, right? So my disk files are saved in my D drive and then there is the folder called Windows 11 X 64. So once you have located the file location for your virtual machine, then just go to that location on your Windows operating system or any other operating system which you are using. And then you will see all these files here. So we are interested in a file which is called Windows 11 or whatever is your virtual machine name dot vmx so just right click on this file and then open it with any editor of your choice i'm going to choose uh, another app here and then i can open this with notepad or any other editor of uh, my choice so i'm going to choose the notepad from here and then i'm going to click on just once which is going to open this file and once this file is open, you need to search for the value which is called firmware and we need to change it to BIOS instead of EFI. So I'm going to just change it to BIOS. And then you also need to search for a value which is called vtpm.present. So just search for vtpm, but we are searching for the value which is called vtpm.present which is true right now, we need to make it false. So just write false all in capital and then save this file. So we have changed the firmware to uh, BIOS and TPM we have disabled, which is false. So I'm going to save this file. And then once again, I'm going to start my virtual machine. So I will just select my virtual machine and click on start the virtual machine. And let me minimize my editors. And now this time you can see this problem is solved, right? So if you are facing this kind of problem, which you will be, then you need to just change those two values in your VMX file.